Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Pietro Giovaro and today I'm going to show you how to create a tree in Blender 2.8. Before to leave it to the video, I'm really pleased to announce that I'm planning to work on my first game. That's a big project, it's a big dream and I will need of all of your help. If you have some suggestions, feedback or you have some experiences in this field or you want to, to support this project, feel free to send me a message through my social media or send me a mail. You can find all the link in the description. This video was born like a test from my workstation. As many of you have seen on my Instagram stories and you can find the link to my profile in the description. After something like 6-7 years, I changed my iMac for a Windows computer. And this is the result. I tried many things like speed test, rendering and in particular the tree generator tool. Even if this tool isn't activated by default, it's part of Blender and can be found in the edit preferences with the name of a tree sapling generator. Once activated, this tool can be found in the cube. So like for adding a new cube like a path or anything else, you have to select the sapling tree generator. Once activated, we, have, we can see uh, the default uh, tree and uh, in the left uh, bottom side of the interface we can uh, change all the aspect and uh, parameter of the tree. In this case, I'm gonna change the presets of the tree, searching uh, something uh, like uh, perfect for a forest. In particular, I decided to use the as you can see, in this part of the panel we can change all the settings related to the geometry of the tree. We can change the shape of the tree and we can scale it and other many things like the, we can decrease or increase the curve resolution. Once that we are satisfied with the demand geometry of the tree, we can change other parameters. Going to settings, we can find the branch radius, splitting, the prong lifts, the armature, and the animation. All of these things are part of the final result, and uh, we can decide to leave something, uh, some parameters of default and change others. In particular, I'm gonna change the branch splitting, adding a new level. Four is a good level of details for cinematics and uh, short movies, but if you're gonna use it in uh, big areas or uh, games, three is a good uh, level. Here I'm gonna change some parameters for the branch growth uh, in order to change the shape in something more uh, natural and uh, old. Now we can add the leaves to the tree. By default the leaf shape has an hexagonal geometry, but since I'm gonna use some textures I will change it in rectangular. Here we can even change the leaf numbers, I'm gonna set it to 30, and uh, we can change the leaf uh, orientation, the 3D board. Now I'm gonna scale up the shape of the leaves. I 
to this point I'm gonna set the armature for the tree in order to animate it so we have to enable the use armature then going to animation can set many other parameters uh, after that we have enabled the armature animation uh, here we can uh, change the parameters for the wind, uh, the amplitude and uh, all the many things that uh, affect uh, the tree At this point we have to create the materials of the tree. I'm gonna open a new panel with the shader editor and I'm gonna set and add some textures for the main materials of the tree. Since there is a bad distortion with the textures, I'm gonna use the texture editor and using the mapping, I'm gonna scale and change the parameters for the UV map. Then I'm gonna change other parameters in order to achieve the best result. Since I haven't uh, created the normal of this uh, texture, I'm gonna use the bump in order to achieve a simple 3D effect uh, to the material. Now I'm gonna create the material of the leaves. I'm gonna use some PNG alpha transparent images and add a little bump as I did before in order to achieve a good 3D effect to the image of the material of the leaves. If you are looking for the best result, I suggest you to test different uh, textures, uh, trying to figure out which one is uh, the best for the tree.
At this point, I'm going to change the camera angle and the sunlight parameters. Until now, I used the IV, but I'm gonna switch it to cycles in order to understand how the material works with the, this render engine. However, for the final render, I will use the IV render engine. This is the scene that I created for this test. It's composed by some plants, and uh, in particular, there is a plan for the terrain without terrain material and uh, there is uh, other trees that are duplicated pressing shift D. And that's all everybody, I hope you find it useful, if so leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and uh, if you have some suggestions for future video, leave them a comment below. If you haven't seen it before, in the description there is the link to my Patreon profile, where everyone will be able only for this month to download a 3D model, then if you decide to become a patron, you will be able every month to download other 3D models and wallpapers, like uh, one based on this video for this month. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.